Voyager 1 is a remarkable achievement of human engineering, a lone explorer venturing farther than any man-made object ever has. Launched in 1977, it has been traveling through the vastness of space for over 40 years. Today, Voyager 1 is a staggering 24 billion kilometers away from Earth and still moving outward at 17 kilometers per second, but its journey is far from over. Voyager 1 is heading deeper into interstellar space, beyond the outer boundaries of our solar system. How has Voyager 1 managed to travel for such an extended period? Where does its energy come from? And how has it avoided collisions with other celestial objects? The answers to these questions lie in a combination of brilliant engineering and natural cosmic forces. When Voyager 1 was launched, it carried a limited amount of fuel, which was entirely depleted by 1980. Yet, despite being out of fuel for decades, it continues to speed through space. This is because it relies on a fascinating principle called the gravitational slingshot effect. The gravitational slingshot effect uses the gravitational pull of planets as a kind of celestial booster. To break free from the sun's gravity, an object needs to reach what scientists call the third cosmic speed, about 16.7 kilometers per second. Voyager 1, however, left Earth only with the second cosmic speed, meaning it had just enough speed to escape Earth's gravity, but not enough to leave the solar system entirely. Enter Jupiter and Saturn. By flying close to these giant planets, Voyager 1 was pulled toward them by their powerful gravitational forces. As it passed by, the momentum of these planets slung Voyager 1 forward, giving it a significant boost and accelerating it to the necessary speed to escape the sun's gravity. This brilliant use of planetary gravity was the key to Voyager 1's ongoing journey and explains why it continues to move through space without additional propulsion. But space is not empty. How has Voyager 1 managed to avoid collisions with other objects, given the many planets, moons, asteroids, and comets that populate our solar system? The answer lies in the vast, empty distances between these objects. While space might seem crowded on a cosmic scale, it's actually incredibly sparse. For example, the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter contains millions of asteroids, yet the average distance between any two of them is around 500,000 kilometers, greater than the distance between Earth and the Moon. As Voyager 1 journeys outward, these gaps between celestial bodies grow even wider, especially in interstellar space, where stars and planets are separated by light years. Thus, Voyager's chances of colliding with anything are astonishingly low. Nevertheless, Voyager 1's journey will not continue forever. The probe is powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator a nuclear battery that has been slowly depleting over time. By 2025, it is expected that this power source will be exhausted and Voyager 1 will cease to send signals back to Earth. When that moment comes, it will drift silently through space, its mission complete. But Voyager 1 will not be a lifeless hunk of metal. It carries with it a golden record, a message from Earth that contains sounds, images, and music from our planet, intended for any potential extraterrestrial intelligence that might find it. Encased in gold plating, the record includes greetings in 55 languages, natural sounds like ocean waves, thunder, and bird songs, as well as music selections from Beethoven to Chuck Berry, 
Voyager 1 is expected to leave our solar system entirely in about 17,000 years. And in roughly 40,000 years, it will pass within 1.6 light years of another star. Gliese 445 in the constellation Camelopardalis. While it will no longer be active by then, Voyager 1 will continue to carry its golden record. Humanity's silent ambassador to the cosmos.